I'm standing here in Verbier, and as you can see, there's now the first of the snowfall of the season. But this year, all over the Alps, it's come really late. And every year, it's coming later and ending sooner. And I'm here today because there are going to be mountain communities from the Andes, the Rockies, the Alps, and the Himalayas doing a live link to see what individuals, the private sector, and mountain communities can do to stop the melt and make sure that we have glaciers for future generations. We have about 120 years of proven oil reserves. We have 240 years of proven gas reserves. We have more than 500 years of proven uh, carbon reserves and so on. We will be running out of water long before we are running out of oil. So how, I mean, how important is it to actually get mountains on the agenda? Mountains are playing a key role to supply humanity with water. It's very simple. If you look at the overall picture, mountains provide water for more than half of the world's population, and this proportion is going to increase even more in future. So there's no way around mountains with regard to water supply for humanity. And China is one of the most important countries where the lack of water is going to have a negative impact on economic growth. Ninety years ago, a British photographer stood here in the north face of Everest in Tibet, the world's highest peak, and took this picture of this glacier. And right under all of this ice is more ice. Ninety years later, I stood in the same place, again in the north face of Everest in Tibet, and took the same picture. And if we look here at this pinnacle, right here, realizing the glacier used to be up, up here, then we can look at that pinnacle right here and see a climber and realize that a lot of ice has been lost from this glacier. This glacier would have been, I can't even show you how high it would be, the glacier was four times higher than this pinnacle. 90 years later, who knows where it will be in the next 90 years? I think that this, this meeting and the discussions here have proven that uh, whatever happens in the mountains uh, has an impact not only in the mountains but also in the valleys. This year we are supporting and become co-founders of the World Mountain Forum that UNEP supports under the angle of conservation. The glaciers are, are, are melting, are melting radically. And uh, this means, you know, that many routes which I climbed 20 years ago can't be climbed anymore or they have to be climbed in a different season. I think what needs to happen next is we need to, con well, we need to continue to take this message out to the world. Um, Verbier is so well placed because of A, who's here. It already has a wonderful brand of Verbier. People love this place. It's known globally. It's forward thinking and we've seen a development of some real passion here and a passion that can be replicated the world over. This is Samantha Bolton reporting for Verbier GPS in Verbier.